that's incredible. I love that. You know, I have a kindred spirit with that because I feel like when people laugh, they can learn better, you know, oh, yeah. and uh, it's just a way that, that, that we can help other people kind of get past their past and maybe have mm -hmm. some levity and uh, see the, the situation in a different way. But let me tell you this, <laughs> you know, you sort of have to know where you work and where you don't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, some humor does not translate into different. So I know for me, I really love staying in the South because mm -hmm. of you know, just the way I am. But for example, I have to tell you this quick. I, I was just in New York at Fashion Week. I was with a wonderful, wonderful group of women from this called Elysian Women. And mm -hmm. um, I'm proud to be in that little group. But we had a fashion show and it was called catwalk fur baby but what they did was they got rescue animals from all over and they walked the runway with their pets and darn if we didn't win first place for this new york really? city international yeah at first i thought say what you gonna bring your cat or your dog are you kidding me because if you're in the south you'd have a chicken maybe a hog or something you know just for fun so <laughs> Now, is that the latest crown for your credenza? Have you <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a pig trophy, too. My husband won it at the fair. But every time I make fun of it, he gets really upset. So I got to watch out for make fun of the pig trophy. Apparently, it's special. <laughs> yeah, that <was> so, <laughs> um, Somebody said, did you win a pageant for someone maybe who wasn't in swimsuit shape? I went, no. My husband won that at the fair. Thank you very much. But <laughs> <laughs> You weren't in swimsuit shape. <laughs> yes. That's how we, we gauge everything. Are you in swimsuit shape? You know, no. that's like, don't go. Or either sit by somebody on the beach who's not, so then you look better. That's just how we do it down here. But yeah. Yeah. I have to tell you, this is so funny. After the little introductory thing where we were all in the city, and, you know, that means New York. I've learned that yeah. city. That doesn't mean, sure. like, Ohio or um you know, someplace in Ohio or someplace in Columbia, South Carolina. That's not the city. So no. New York got that one. So there was this very wonderful philanthropic woman. Well, you know, I didn't know her, but I knew she was very generous. And so when I said, where do you live? And I should have known that, see, because I didn't know that. But that's just my little Southern faux pas. And no. she said, this the city. And then she paused and said, the Hamptons. And I went, ah! Ooh. They've got the best breakfast. I love their hard-boiled <laughs> eggs. Have you ever tried one of their hard-boiled eggs? I thought she'd laugh. I mean, she got in that limo and was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I stayed it up a couple of nights. I didn't know you could live there. <laughs> now, see, I should have called you when I started working yeah. on that. You must I should have have that. crazy points on their <laughs> rewards program. Wow. They probably give you the whole place to stay. <laughs> wow. You know, I mean, but you, you never know. I think my younger self would have gone, oh, I'm so sorry. I just, I should have known. I'm so ignorant. I'm, I'm so ignorant. So I'm sorry. But my younger nervous. self is going, whatever. I had, I had more of my little Southern girls that were like snorting, almost lying down the street. They thought it was funny. But you got, you got to understand that my point is, Humor yeah. does not translate universally. You kind of have to know where you fit. Right.